My guest tonight is an actress uh, and a comedian who stars with David Spade in the Netflix film, The Wrong Missy. And this film is hilarious. She is hilarious. Please welcome, I'm thrilled, Lauren Lapkus. Lauren, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me. Um, uh, we'll talk about your curtain later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're in a puppet theater or what's happening. I'm just hiding like tons of garbage. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> it's nice, you just draw a curtain. <laughs> um, I, uh, I wanna compliment you. I, I, I don't, I, I've known you for a long time uh, and, and we've worked together a little bit and I've always thought you were hilarious. And I watched your Netflix film uh, last night and I started to watch it by myself and this movie starts from the get-go, like the firing gun starts, you show up, I think 30 seconds into the film. And I was laughing so hard that I paused it and I went and found my wife and I said, you have to watch this with me, Aww. it's that funny. And so we went back to the start of the movie and you just kill it. You are so funny in this movie and I'm so happy for you because I really do think this is one of those performances that's going to change everything for you. And I'm, I'm really happy. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice. Yeah. And I, I think, and I think coming from me, um, <laughs> we all know the power, Lauren, that I uh, wield in the business. This is huge for me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like Spielberg in, uh, you know, 87. You know? <laughs> it's the equivalent. Cause that's the, oh, you, this changes everything, but no, it was so funny and you were so funny in so many different ways. And I was remembering that the first time I saw you was in a little improv show for kids called Story Pirates. Yes, yeah, we got to do that together. I mean, you didn't get to do it with me, but I got to do it with you and it was very exciting. It's this theater company in New York and LA that takes stories written by children and adapts them into sketches and songs. And it's really fun and like really high quality kids entertainment. Yeah. Um, and I used to be in that theater company in New York and LA and we did a show at the Geffen and we had you as our celebrity guest and it was so fun. And you, I think you sang a song about wetting your pants, which. Sounds like me. <laughs> That's an old Gershwin classic, by the way. <laughs> uh, the Wrong Missy, I think is one of the most popular films on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, this is a big deal for you. And yeah. this is, through Adam Sandler's production company, this film, and Adam Sandler's the executive producer, and uh, Adam's wife is in the film, and then I notice, and, and she does a great job, but then I notice there's this really, there's this moment where your character loses it, can be incredibly foul mouthed, can be <laughs> incredibly foul in all these different ways, and it's hilarious, but there's this moment where you're yelling at these kids when you show up at this resort in Hawaii, and I notice that the kids are Adam's kids. Yeah. And you're being really, f and I'm like, was Adam on set when that happened? He was there that day. And it was kind of like, it was interesting. Cause I think for a little, like a little bit, I felt more pressure because he was there, of course. And like, I, you know, I like him, I admire him. And I'm like, oh, I have to like perform in front of him. But then I also have to scream at his kids. And um, he just told me to go harder. He was like, just scream, just swear at them. Just go, like, just come in hot. And I was like, okay. And and they liked it. They were, they were great, but. Oh, no, they, I'm sure they got it, but. Do you, th do you sense in a weird way that Adam was using you to <laughs> vent anger at his <laughs> Yeah, that was really clear actually. <laughs> and that maybe possibly that was the reason the whole movie existed. <laughs> <laughs> Just to have that one scene. <laughs> There's a part in the movie uh, where you get fish chum just chopped up fish parts thrown in your face and it looks really disgusting and they mm -hmm. sell it really well and i thought what it, i'm just hoping that that was plastic and fake and not real i have to tell you it was 100 percent real um because <laughs> well actually it was supposed to be fake but then the prop guy told me like the day before like he pulled me aside and he was like hey um that that fish i was supposed to get this like fake fish and it didn't arrive in time and so i'm like i'm gonna use real fish and i was like hey, yeah yeah cool like, that's funny and he's like no i'm like I'm, I'm dipping it in lemon and i'm trying to make it smell good and i'm taking all the bones out but it's gonna be real and i was like okay like it's just like i feel like i can't i can't argue against that i just have to go with that 
And so then they're just dumping fish in my, you know, like Rob Schneider and, uh, you know, stunt man are just throwing actual fish guts in my face and hair. And then people have to debone me for like an hour on the boat. And then we do it again. <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to say this on your behalf. Um, that doesn't happen to you again. <laughs> I understand that you had to do this to, to in this movie, but I think after this movie, that's done. You know, maybe, I mean, maybe now I can I can stand up for myself and, and just I don't know I don't know what you're supposed to do in that situation though. I mean, just like say to make it all CGI or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you that I've been have doing the show for whatever you know, 27 years or something, and. I've gotten to the point where I'll bitch about it and be passive aggressive. Yeah. And they'll go like, okay, well, we just won't do it. And I'll go like, no, no, <laughs> it's fine. And then I put on, you know, a woman's thong and they drop <laughs> me into liquid diarrhea. I think I missed that episode. <laughs> That's such a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, man, it was a theme episode. It was- oh, okay. Uh, Your personal I perversions. <laughs> oh, is that my perver oh, that's prefer yeah, that's my perversion. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you, I know that you've been um, you know, I'm a bit in the podcast world and you've been doing it for a long time very successfully. And um I know you do this podcast with Nicole Byer. I'm a big fan of hers as well. And so the yes. idea of you working together is fantastic. And the, the podcast is called Newcomers. Can you tell me what does newcomers mean? What's that theme for the podcast? Because it sounds interesting. Yeah, so each season we're going to watch something we've never seen before. And the first season is all about Star Wars. And neither of us had ever seen, ever? I mean, any of it. We barely knew anything going in. And we've now seen all of it. And I feel very informed and I feel ready to move on. <laughs> what a ringing endorsement. Of <laughs> universe. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's so much. And like, one of the things that I think about with this, with going through this podcast is like, everybody who's a huge fan of Star Wars, you get like 10 years between each movie, basically. So you're really excited. You're happy that it's like really long. Like there's so much to like figure out and dissect and like new technology. And we're just watching it all in a span of a few months. So like every week I'm watching another Star Wars movie or like a series or like an Ewok movie, which is a spinoff that like is crazy. And we're just spending so much time like watching these movies, talking about them, dissecting them. We have on guests who are really passionate about it. So it helps to balance because we're usually confused or like mad about something, but it's been really fun. I'm, I'm curious, did you have a favorite character uh, after watching all of it, not knowing anything and then watching all of the Star Wars catalog, did you come away with like, okay, this is my obsession? Yeah, I have a couple. Well, Nicole's is Jar Jar Binks. So I think that's amazing because like people were really upset about Jar Jar back in the day. Yes. But yeah. um, I love Porgs. I love Babu Frick. And I, like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is like really weird for me. Um, I love Babu Frick and I love, um, I like Yoda. <laughs> so yeah. Wow, really going on on a limb with Yoda. I like Yoda. <laughs> well, you, you have to pick one classic. Do you, you mentioned Ewoks. I remember being very irritated by Ewoks when they showed up in the Star Wars franchise. Yeah, I love them. I think they're so cute and funny and they're so great. There is a, I, you have to Google this. There's a Today Show clip with Al Roker where there are Ewoks and they're, they're I don't know why they're there. I guess it's like a, just an episode where that was connected somehow, but they start like grinding on him and like grinding on the floor and doing like the moonwalk and it's amazing. <laughs> You know, I heard that this clip existed and we have it ready and I'm, okay. I don't want to disappoint our viewers. So let's take a look at the Ewoks on the Today Show. Uh, just a quick look. Decorative icing. And then you're just going to put some blood, ooh, gushing He's along. moonwalking. Yeah. Apparently you need a couple of these guys. <laughs> hey, 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 oh. And that was a day where there was really serious news. <laughs> <laughs> Right. If there was just an international, incredibly big, you know, that was that was the it's day a tragedy. And, and then like the Ewoks power, power like... plant blew up in Russia and they were like, we're going to get to that. But first, <laughs> Ewoks humping, dry humping Al Roker. <laughs> season two. OK, you did Star Wars. What's season two going to be? It's going to be Lord of the Rings. You've never watched those? No. And do you know them? <laughs> I actually, I have to say I've watched them because over the years um, I had, you know, uh, when they were making those movies, we had all the 
people that were in the movies come on the show yeah. and talk about them. So I would watch the movies and I really liked them, but half the time I don't know what anyone's talking about. So, I think that's going to be a big problem for us because we can't keep track of storylines or names like at all in Star Wars. And I've heard that there are more names and they all have nicknames in Lord of the Rings and every movie is three and a half hours, which is longer than Star Wars. So I'm feeling nervous. They're beautiful films and the performances are really great. And I find them to be really majestic and they take you away. So in all those reasons, it's great. But then there's a lot of we must go to build a shire and find <laughs> Frau Drachman. And then he'll take us to Mordor. <laughs> and I don't know what they're talking about. And Can I you just reenact them for us and just like have that be with the podcast? <laughs> yeah. There's just so many different shires and places. And then there are elves that don't like, everyone's sort of racist towards each other. Like elves oh. don't like, you know, there's always these biases and, and you think like, why do elves not like, you know, whatever, gnomes? And why do gnomes hate trolls? And why do fairies? Yeah. It's just, it's craziness. But um, you don't have to always know what's going on. Well, that's good. Because yeah. I just won't, I'm sure. I, yeah. I try to like, I pay very close attention. And sometimes I even record myself watching the movie as like a watch along that people can listen to. So it right. helps me like focus. And I'm like, who's that guy? And then my husband will explain something and I'll still then go to go into the podcast and have no idea what I watched. Like it's, it's very hard for it to stay in here. Right. Right. Well, uh, it's not just you. It's just, I'm constantly having trouble, uh, knowing what's happening in a movie, uh, <laughs> even simple movies, uh, Me Wizard, too. Of, Wizard of Oz. They're literally following a yellow brick road. And I'm like, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> they're saying, no, they're, what are you talking about? My children are saying, calm down. This is what they're, they're still on the yellow brick road and the witch is trying to stop them. And other than that, it's pretty linear. <laughs> Why? Um, we have a clip here from the wrong Missy. Okay. And I believe, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, David Spade thinks that he has invited someone else on a romantic getaway. Uh, but because of a miscommunication uh, texting, he's invited you, you show up. And I think this is the scene we're going to see. Is that correct? I, yeah, I don't know. You don't know and you don't care, do you? <laughs> You've changed with your pink. <laughs> you're not the Lauren Lapkus I met back in the day. You've got your pink <laughs> curtain now and your striped shirt and your, <laughs> and your blue microphone. <laughs> you think you're all that in a bag of chips. Well, anyway, that's the clip. <laughs> So great to see you. <laughs> you smell so good. What is that? Is that soap? Sorry, I'm a little sweaty. I had a little TSA pat down. Guess I'm too sexy. <laughs> no, I had a, I had Sheila in my purse, but I got away with it because I told him it was a service knife. So don't worry, you're That's protected. <laughs> <laughs> what, hmm. what are you doing here? 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 Yeah. Are these for me? Those aren't. You got me roses? That is so no. sweet. Mmm, I want to motorboat them. <laughs> I've never flown first class. This is crazy. Wait, what's in this bag? What in the world? Like free stuff? Oh my god. I didn't have any of this. Deodorant? This is perfect. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna let you go. I know you have, I really do think you have a puppet show to do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really think about that energy that this gives off, but you're totally I right. don't know what it is. Or you're gonna be displaying cosmetics. I should do something from home, like a commercial, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, well, stay well. And, um, and I really do hope to see you soon here at Largo. Yeah, this is one of the last things I did live was a show here at Largo with like Sandler and Apatow and oh, wow. Idol, and it was so much fun. And I think a couple of days later, everything shut down. It's crazy. So, yeah. Literally the day, the day things were shutting down, I, I did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I got to like be a contestant and it was the most exciting day of my life. And then we like went back home and everything was shut down. We couldn't tell anyone. It was like the weirdest, most dystopic feeling. As it, it was aired. odd. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get, did you win anything? I won five hundred thousand dollars for charity. Charity. Yeah. Oh, 
I would love well, it. Did if- you want to know the question that I, that I would actually wanted to, to quiz you on this? Uh-oh. Because I thought you would know the answer to this. I may not, but go ahead. Okay, this was the question that I had to get to get the five hundred thousand dollars, and I had to call my dad as my lifeline, and he helped me. But okay, six U.S. presidents share the same first name: John, James, George, William. Which there are six presidents that have that one name. Uh, it's not William. Can I hear him again? But- John. James, George, William. Wow, George Washington, George Bush. Man, that's a really good question. It's really hard. I don't know anything about president, so I was like totally uh, screwed. Yeah, I do. I just know that there's a lot of Georges, and then there's James Madison, James Polk, James. Uh, man, now you're you're just want to go, and now no, I want you to guess it. Okay, can I write these down, George? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm eliminating uh, William. Mm-hmm. George, and I think I'm wise to do that. Hello. You're correct. You're correct. George, James, and what's the other one? Um, George, John. James, John. John Adams, John F. Kennedy. I'm going to say it's not. There's James Garfield. There's a lot of James. There's James Polk. There's. I do you want a hint? Yeah. There's like a nickname associated with one of the names that also makes, like there are more presidents to use a nickname as well. Well, yeah, because I, I think it's gonna be James because that's, I just think it has to be James because it can be Jimmy, it can be James, it can be Jim. Yeah, so that's what yes, I- Yes, that's correct. But okay. it was so tense. My dad, I called my dad and he said, John, and then we were just sitting there for like 10 seconds. And I was like, are you sure? And then he was like, James, 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 and like it hung up on him. And then I had to sit there for 10 minutes and weigh whether or not I trust my dad. Like, it was just like crazy. You know what I wish? I wish I had been on that show and I wish I had answered that correctly. I think I would have answered that correctly. And then I wish that I had won and I'd been really excited. And then I wish that on camera, they had reminded me that the money goes to charity. (laughs) And I wish everyone could have seen my face fall. (laughs) And then me start to kind of ask like, well, I, 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 yes, I imagine some goes to charity. Like, <laughs> charity. And then see me getting into it with the executive producers as the credits come down. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Thank uh, you. Everyone check out The Wrong Missy. Uh, it, it's during these times right now, a movie this funny is the perfect cure. And, uh, and I hope to see you soon in, in better circumstances. Me too. Thanks so much for having me. No problem. Thank you.